What's going on? It's Thomas and I am back. It's been a while. I have, you know, I did publish a couple of older videos the other week, which were just sitting on the YouTube channel unlisted. So I thought I'd make them public uh, and they, they got a great reception as well. So I really appreciate anyone that watched and liked and commented. Uh, there's been quite a few comments, which is great to see. There's obviously a lot of people who were keen to see some more content from myself. So I am going to really strive to churn out some good content. And I thought, whilst obviously going through the comments, there was a really good comment asking uh, about my opinion and how I split test. That's a great topic. It's a really important topic. And it's often a topic that I see a lot of media buyers um, not ignore, but not spend a lot of time on, okay? And it's a really, really, it's, it's the difference in turning a negative campaign into a profitable one. It really is. Uh, it can just be done from the smallest test, the smallest change in your campaign, the st uh, changing one word in the headline, for instance, changing the contrast of the image, changing, you know, the, you know, uh, overlaying a GIF on the landing page image, click-through image, that can be the difference in turning a negative campaign into a, a profitable one. It, it really can be that simple. Not all the time. Obviously, there's more things that you might have to test to get to that point. But, you know, often it can be. And obviously, if, it's, if you're not testing anything, if there's nothing really happening, if you're just, you know, using, you know, one image, one version of ad copy, one lander, and that's it, and you run it for a few hundred dollars and it's negative and then it's like, oh, well, this doesn't work. So may as well chuck it and, and go some, find another offer to test. You know, it can be the, the difference in that, right? In, in making sure that you can actually drill down and get some profit out of the campaign. Testing is, is really everything when it comes to uh, paid traffic. All right. So <clears throat> I'm going to say I, I've got this little document here. Okay. And... It's nothing fancy. Those who have watched my content before will notice and, and realize that, you know, I'm not one for making things look pretty and, you know, really detailed and, and nice slideshows and, you know, whatever else. I, I really like to go into the nitty gritty and, and actually show you over my shoulder. I feel like that's, or that's how I prefer to learn is if I, if I need to see something or, or find something out, or I'm, you know, if I want to learn something, I want to see it being done. I don't want to have someone talk to me about it on a, on a slideshow or on a, you know, on a document like I've got here. But this is just more so for me to relate back to um, and then go into the ads manager, right? Give you a little bit of a brief overview of what we're going to be covering. All right. So, oh, as well, if you are interested in affiliate marketing, Facebook ads, then please like the video if you get any value from this at all. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And also, it would be awesome if you drop me a comment. And if there's anything, anything at all that you want me to cover in future videos that's related to paid ads and affiliate marketing, please drop that in the comments. Send me a message on YouTube, whichever is easiest, because I'm looking for ideas for topics. You know, this is, can be the 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 worst part for me is is keeping the ideas coming to produce fresh content all right so what i'm thinking here with this video obviously someone commented asking about split testing uh, i thought that's a great topic topic to cover uh, and i also thought i might make this into a little series what we can do here is we can launch or i can launch a new facebook ad campaign in an ad account for an offer um i can obviously show you how I'm split testing it, but then I can also carry it on into a little case study, maybe a 30 day case study, go through, I don't know if I'm gonna do it every day, maybe two or three check-ins per week and see how we go, right? So anyway, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's go into actually what we're talking about here with the split testing. So for me, again, you know, I'm not saying this is the right or, or the only way of doing things. This is all my own opinion and, and way of doing things, okay? There might be people who do it different, who do it better. That's fine. This works for me and this is how I like to do it. There's four main points of testing. We've got the audience, okay, who we're targeting with the ad. We've got the ad, the, the actual thing that they see in the newsfeed or, or in, on Facebook, on the apps or whatever it is that you, they're using. We've got the lander and then we've got the offer, okay? So these are the four things that, you know, as an overview that we can test. Now, each 
of these points can be broken down into several different tests. For example, we've got the audience, okay? So we can test different interests if we want, okay? So we can test, you know, depending on our offer, we might find interest, we might do some audience research and find out that our, you know, key demographic or our key audience are, you know, really interested in fast food. So that could be an interest that we, we target. We might even go a little bit further and target chains of fast food so mcdonald's kfc etc etc right we've got demographics this is the gender the age so we might test men versus women we might test you know 55 plus versus you know 35 to 54 right so this is the demographics and this is what i really like to test because we can often again like i said before we can often find you know, we can turn campaigns green. We, we really can by just testing and, and drilling down into a few of the, the, the things that we can test. Then we've got data. And, and what I mean by data is customer data. So you might be able to get a customer list from the offer owner that you can upload and use a lookalike, okay? You might have your own data on your pixel. You might have data from your Facebook page or comments on the ads, etc., etc. right? That you can utilize and build lookalikes off of or retarget. We've also got geos, and geos are just the countries. It probably could come under demographics, but this is a massive one for me. Once you start seeing where your, um, you know, where your conversions are coming from, if you're running international or you're running across several different countries, once you start seeing where the spend's going and, and where the conversions are coming back and where the ROI is, the return on investment, the profits coming from, that's when you can start drilling down and testing, say, segmenting countries if you want to, right? You might want to start just by targeting the US. A lot of people do. I prefer not to, dependent on the offer. Uh, and we'll get into that when we go into the ads manager. So that's your audience, okay? Then we've got ad. So the ad is obviously what people see. This is what's going to, you know, bait the click. So we've got creative. And that being image, video, carousel. I don't know what else you can you can put in there now. Um, we've got the headline, okay? We've got the ad copy. Oh, connection lost so my mouse has decided oh no it's back we've got the ad copy we've got angles okay angles being you know the uh, the the sort of positioning that you're coming from from the for, with the ad copy right so a certain angle might be you know a single mum 45 years old with two kids you know and you know desperate to lose weight hates the gym you, you know that type of thing it's the, it's the story behind the ad copy the angle where you're coming from so obviously a, a really good target market for you there would be other single mums other you know 45 year olds blah 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 right and then we've got the hooks and the hooks I, what I count as the hooks is, you know, the opening part of the ad copy, the, the main emphasis, right? So, for example, a really good way of, you know, creating variations of ads, once you've found a winning ad copy, a winning angle, is just changing the first three lines, you know, changing the opening uh, few sentences or few lines of the ad. That, again, can make and break a campaign. So, you know, I'm not saying change the whole ad copy that you need to write, you know, a, a whole new ad. You could just switch out a few lines, the, the opening lines. Remember, when you're going through Facebook, you can only see the first two or three lines of ad copy. So those key, those, those two or three lines are absolutely key. Uh, and that's where I like to put the hook. Uh, and that, again, you know, I mean, you can go through the spy tools and, and look through Facebook yourself and you'll notice good hooks. You'll see the ads that have good hooks because they hook you in. Um, then we've got the lander, right? Lander, I can test layout style. And, and by this, I mean, you know, page type. So I like to run, you know, a few different page types. One of them being a splash page, which is a very simple um, landing page, basically, consists of headline, image, button, sometimes body copy. Um, and then there's blog style pages, which is more like a blog article. You've got advertorial style pages. You know, you've got quiz pages. That's what I mean by layout style, um, is the type of page that we're running, okay? Then we've got headline of the, of the lander. We've got the image of the lander. And again, body copy if we wanted to, okay? So fairly straightforward with that. And then we've got the offer. And again, in my in my personal opinion, this the offer is the most important thing. Okay, without a good offer, 
without an offer that converts, it doesn't matter how good your audience targeting is, it doesn't matter how good your ad is, it doesn't matter how good your lander or funnel is, if the offer is not going to convert, nothing nothing above, you know, the lander, the ad, the audience isn't going to make a shite of difference, okay? This is why offers, you know, sometimes people can get stuck on an offer uh, and get attached to an offer, um, and it's happened to me before, but sometimes just pe- people don't don't realize that it, it could be the offer that's not converting. And this is why a bottleneck, and this is maybe a, a topic for another video. In fact, I might have some content on this already from a course that I put out, but um, this is where bottlenecks come, you know, come into things. And this, uh, the easiest way to look at this is if, if you've got KPIs on your ad and your lander, so a KPI meaning a key performance indicator, what you're aiming to get, let's say your click-through rate wants to be above 4% on the ad, and you're getting above 4%, or just around 4% on the ad, and your KPI for your lander click-through rate is 40% plus, and you're getting that, okay? But for some reason, it's not working, and you're looking at the offer stats, you know, there's a very good chance that it's the offer that's that's not working. Sometimes there's gonna be, you know, issues with, um, you know, congruency from the ad and from the lander, but you know, eight, nine times out of 10, the offer is what's causing the issue. If all the other stats look pretty good, your click-through rate's good, your CPMs are good, your, your lander click-through rate's good, but your offer's just, you know, nothing's working there, that there's nothing, there's no sales coming in or, or it's really negative, then, you know, chances are the offer is, is what's making this campaign suffer, okay? All right, so I know that was a little bit long-winded. <laughs> I apologize. So let's get into it. We're going to jump into the um, into the campaign. Okay, so I've already started setting up a campaign. You can see I've got this campaign up here. And we've got, you know, basically a blank canvas. Now, what I'm going to do here is I, I like to test you know, only a couple of things at a time. I don't want to test loads of different things at a time. So I'm not going to test, you know, loads of different audiences. I'm not going to test loads of different ads. All I'm going to start my testing with is the creative, okay, of the ad. So I'm not going to test audiences, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it broad. Now, the offer that we're going to go for is an ED offer, erectile dysfunction offer. It's called Red Boost or Hardwood Tonic. There's a couple of names for it. And I'm going to obviously optimize for purchases. So what I said before was we're going to spend, or what I, what I think we're going to spend is $150 a day. That's what I'd like to spend. I want to keep it, you know, achievable and affordable for, for most people out there. I know $150 isn't going to be affordable for everyone. But if you're already making numbers or, or, or doing, uh, you know, making money, $150 should be there or there's about. Now, obviously, if, you, if you've only got $50, you can do the same. You just reduce the budget, right? But this is just a testing account. I want to sort of make this into a sort of case study. So I want to start low. So what I'm going to do, I want to test my creative, okay? And I want one image and two videos. That's what I'm going to go for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my ad set budget here to $50 because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one ad per ad set. I don't want to put all my ads in the same ad set because Facebook's gonna pick and choose which ad gets the budget, right? And I wanna have more control over that. I wanna find out exactly what creative I wanna go forward with sooner than that, right? I don't wanna let Facebook decide, okay, this one's gonna get 90% of the budget and these two only get a trickle, right? I wanna make sure I've got a little bit more control over that. So there's $50 there, this is gonna be ad set one. So we'll go up and we'll call this um, I'm going to run it to a broad audience. I'm going to run it to men. And I'm going to run it to 45 plus. And I am going to turn the Wi Fi on. No, actually, I'm not. I'm going to keep it auto for now. And we can drill down into that data and maybe split test that at a later date. And I'm just going to put the date, which is the 9th of November. Okay. So again, for those that don't label, I really suggest you start labeling well, clearly, and dating as well. Dating especially, you, you want to know exactly what date things were launched and ran 
so you can relate back to. If you get, you know, 100 plus ad sets in here, it becomes extremely messy. Um, so, so clear labeling, really, really important in my opinion. All right, $50, we're gonna leave all this the same. And I'm not sure if I've already uploaded these audiences. We'll have a quick look. Yes, I have. So let's exclude the hardwood tonic customers and the purchases on the pixel. All right, now I am gonna add some other countries here. I'm gonna add Canada. And I'm gonna add UK. And Australia. And New Zealand. Uh, oh, we'll put Ireland in as well. well. We'll stick Ireland in. Again, you know, a lot of the times for me, UK doesn't convert very well on diet, uh, especially Ireland doesn't convert very well on diet either. Not too sure why. Um, but yeah, I've, Hardwood Tonic runs to all of these top tier English speaking countries. So we're going to run that as well. And then I'm going to change this to 45 plus. Uh, changes to men so obviously this is now turning into a little bit of a uh, <laughs> building a campaign lesson I'll leave that as English uh, as all languages sorry all right so automatic placements on and that's about it for the ad set so I'm, I'm just gonna have actually what I forgot to put in the um, in the name was what this is so I might put let's put um, what we're gonna run this on Put it at the end here so i'm going to put image one here so this is going to be image one's ad set and then we're going to put image one we are going to put ac1 for ad copy and h1 for headline all right so let's scroll down and add an image Okay, I want, let's go with this one. Just want to make sure it looks all right when it comes out with this. I've seen this one being used. We've used this as well. And then I'm going to go and paste the copy into there. Okay. And then I'm going to, for the headline, we're going with this angle. Okay. Nearly split up. Okay. Now I again I would be really, really careful with the the E D here. Uh, so and again this could be, you know, in relevant to any type of niche, especially in this, you know, health space that, that we run you know, these clickbank offers are in. Um anything, weight loss, skin. Dental is all at risk if you if you're using certain keywords or or the way that you're saying it now because we're talking as more of a first person perspective. We're not saying your your you know you can cure ED or whatever. It's more of a um and what's the word? Someone's you know we're we're saying what our experience is. It's like a first person story almost. Okay, I'm gonna leave that blank. I, I don't. I usually sometimes do fill that in, but I'm gonna leave it blank. All right, so that's the ad uh, at this, you know, the first ad. I'm just going to go and jump to the tracker because what I want is the campaign link. And then back up here. So let's paste that in there. I'm just going to grab the URL. Oh, it's already there, so it doesn't matter. I was just going to put it in display. It's already there. Okay, so that's ad one. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this out. All right, so let's go and duplicate the ad sets because remember, I want to test the ad sets, you know, the ads in individual ad sets, okay? I don't want to have all the ads in one ad set because then I don't have the control. I want the control. So um, let's go and change this one first. So let's remove copy and then let's put video one and let's go to the ad. And again, let's change this to video one. And then scroll down to the creative. 
remove the image and let's add the video. So I'm going to go with this one. Just make sure it looks okay in the original form it does. Okay, and then I want to go to the second ad set. And again, this is going to be video, but instead of one, it's going to be video two. Let's go to the ad and change that as well. Okay, and let's remove this. And this one, we'll do two. I just want to see that. Okay, that looks good. All right, so these are the ads. This is this this part of it is now done and dusted, so we can close this out. So to recap, we've got the one campaign, and then we've got three different ad sets, each at fifty dollars a day each. So for a combined $150. And then in each ad set, we have one ad. Okay, so we've got an image in this ad set, we've got a video, and we've got a video. So this is literally just one test. Okay, we are testing creative. This is what we're testing on the front, all right, on the ad side. We're just testing creative. We're not testing ad copy, we're not testing headlines, we're not testing audiences. We're just testing creative. And I want to do it in individual ad sets, again, because I want the control. I don't want Facebook to pick a winner. I don't want Facebook to say, oh, right, video two looks the best, so we're going to spend all the money there. I want to control it. What I could do is I could have all ads in one ad set, and then I could turn that ad off. But I don't want to do that. I want to be able to, you know, not have to wait and spend $100 on this ad, and this is only spent $2 each. Do you know what I mean? Potentially. And then say, okay, this isn't working. Turn this ad off and now the, the budget flows through to here, I want to get a, a clear indicator straight off the bat. Now, what's going to be a winning ad? A winning ad for me, obviously, is going to be a return, right? A profit. After that, you know, the, the cost per sale. So, like, if we've only spent $50 and it's got a sale, but the sale's only worth $50, the fact that it got a sale for $50 is a very good indicator for me, okay? Because if we can get another sale for $50, that sale might be worth $400, now we've spent $100, got two sales for $450. That's a great return. Okay, so I'm looking, one, at profit. Okay, two, I'm looking at the cost per sale. And then three, my secondary metrics are looking at, you know, the, the CPM and the CTR. Okay, so click-through rate and cost per thousand impressions. I want to make sure I've got a good CTR, which means, and a decent CPM, which usually means I'm going to get a really good cost per click. Okay, they're my secondary metrics. Now, I'm quite happy. Ideally, I want to pay, you know, under 70 cents cost per click. However, if I'm making 200% ROAS, so I'm, you know, making a decent return, good profit, then I, I don't care if I'm paying $2 a click. If that's giving me 200% ROAS, I couldn't give a shit. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, chances of that happening are very slim. Uh, so we, so those are the secondary metrics. Okay, so I'm going to publish these changes and we shall revisit this at a later date, hopefully. So let's jump back into the tracker real quick. Okay, so we've got two, we've got three landers here. We're starting with two. Okay, I've got them open up here. Here's lander one. Okay, so we can see this point in monotonic, reverse my husband limpness. Again, look how we're using this sort of verbiage, <laughs> if that's the right word. We're using these words instead of other words. Obviously, I use the ED in the in the headline, but um, you know, I, I feel like I'll get away with that. Now solid as an oak. And again, we've got some body copy under here. We've got this image. Uh, again, with the arm and hammer baking soda, you'll notice that we use that in the... Um, in the image for the ad and this is a gif and we've got it's just animated it looks pretty cool on desktop and then we've got a second which is you know a static image this more and a, sh a much shorter uh, headline same headline but without their dot 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 he's now solid as an oak same body copy same button okay two differences headline and the image Okay, now usually I test one thing, just a headline, but I'm interested to see what, what goes on with the, um, with the images as well. 
Now, there is, <laughs> this one will be brought in after we've got the a campaign approved and we find the winner of the, the first two landers. And this one's uh, a little bit more aggressive, okay? For obvious reasons, right? <laughs> um, but we'll see. Now, I'm not saying run this. In fact, I'm saying the opposite. You, this will get your ad account shut down sooner or later. But, you know, the, the systems, you need your systems set up. The systems that we have set up, usually we're all right to, to run this. Um, and obviously, if, if anything does catch us out, we've got backups anyway. So it's not too much of an issue. But there we go. So we've got the, the lander, you know, test happening here. We've got the ad test as well with the creative. We find the creative. Then we can start testing ad copy. So let's just jump back to here. So, so we can find the, the winning creative out of the two videos and image. We can test that winning creative against more new creative. Or we can start testing, you know, different ad copy headlines, etc., angles and hooks. We can also take the winning creative and now start testing different interests and lookalikes and demographics, okay? We're, we're obviously already testing the landers. Uh, and then we can also start testing offers. So I know there's a couple of different offers on MaxWeb that are for ED. I think there's some on Digistore as well. So we can test different offers across networks, okay? We can also set, test the same offer on different networks. So for instance, at the minute, this is ClickBank that we're running on and it's a rev share, meaning we get a percentage or a commission of the um, of the sale. Whereas MaxWeb usually do CPA. We can get CPA on this ClickBank offer as well, but we, we wanna know exactly how much, um, what our average commission is. I think it's around 130 or 140 at the minute. Then we've got obviously subtract refunds and chargebacks um, to find out what it is. But say for instance, it's 120 after refunds and chargebacks. That's what we come out with on the ClickBank offer. Well, if MaxWeb's only offering 100, is it worth going there? Potentially not, right? So, um, but sometimes we can find running the exact same offer, but on a different network can often result in better results. Okay, before we wrap this up, one last thing. I am super excited to announce that on the 1st of January, 2023, I am gonna be unveiling and launching my new training program, The Affiliate Alliance. So if you have any interest at all in learning about the steps that I've taken and, and still do take on how I built a super affiliate business, if you are interested in starting as a beginner, if you're starting as an intermediate, if you're starting as advanced, there's going to be something in this for you, okay? So if you're interested in learning that about affiliate marketing, how to build an affiliate business, how to run Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and, and really scale an affiliate business, this is going to be for you, okay? So if you're interested in learning more, there's a link underneath the video in the, in the description, which is going to take you to this very page. You can see the countdown timer counting down to the 1st of January at 9 a.m. Leave your name, leave your email, You'll be added to a waiting list. You'll also get access to a bonus case study, which is um, where I generated 185K profit in just six weeks on a weight loss offer. It's a, a good case study, breaks everything down, uh, and is a little bit of a bonus and a thank you for signing up to the wait list. So if you are interested, I really recommend you, you sign up to the wait list. You'll be added to the email list. I promise I'm not going to spam you. I promise I'm not going to inundate you with tons and tons of emails. I will update you with new YouTube content when I when I post new videos. I will also update you with any updates on the course, okay? Uh, and obviously, as we approach the launch of the course, I'll be in touch uh, both on the email list and on the YouTube channel. So if that's okay, if you're interested in that, please go ahead, click the link below this video, sign up to the waiting list, and I shall speak to you soon. Cheers now.